The America Ground is fascinating because it, it has this unique identity. People made a community there, they made a small town there, then they were evicted and the land has this amazing kind of history. The piece that Chris has written is very much based on research that he's done into rope making and the rope walks in Hastings. I'm extracting elements from it, from his characters that are in the ballad. Hopefully it'll give you a, a poetic sense of past history of a place. I started recording sound probably about 15 years ago, didn't really know what to do with it, and then gradually realised that it was quite a major element of um, what I wanted my creative practice to be. So I've created pieces that I felt were sculptural in their composition. So an action, a movement, has a dynamic, it has a sound, it's a physical thing for me. If you dream, you don't dream in a, in a timeline, in sequences. You get all these flashes of imagery which don't seem to make sense but somehow add up to uh, an evocative feeling of different moments. So that's how I'm hoping to create this sound piece. So I'm a 3D artist mainly and I make lots of puppets and masks and headdresses and that's what I've always done and I find it really easy to work three-dimensionally. So for me this is quite a departure from that. I'll be working 2D and I'm working with technology that I've never used before. I'm very lo-fi, I just make things with my hands. I'm always trying to find stories and I like finding a story and then sort of developing it. Chris has already done that, so I've got all of his um, research already there to sort of go into storytelling and illustrating his words. I found loads of slides in a charity shop of a family from Hastings. I mean, some of them just look like stormy seas, sort of abstract stormy seas, but they're just they're just all damaged. There's even like weird slides of domestic scenes. If I can find a way of placing characters in these scenes, it's almost like they've been made to put people in. It's more about sort of evoking a feeling of the, the past and history, but also there's lots of fun songs there, so it's, it's got to have an element of humour in it because that's Hastings as well, so it's trying to blend the two. There's a real Hastings humour, which I don't think, which is particular to Hastings, I can't describe it, but it makes me feel like, like home, you know. wake of Covid singing has been really curbed and we don't know what the future of singing is. It's created in Hastings a silence that hasn't been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. So I wanted to kind of represent um, some of that vocal history that's really been told in song we were a Sankport town, which means that we must have had quite a heritage, really, of multicultural history. So it's a real woven kind of tapestry of, of lots of different influences. The piece starts with a prologue, as though I'm walking along the shoreline of Hastings, looking at the sort of stratas of history as I walk from the old town through to St. Leonard's. I want people to see that Hastings 
has had a really strong, consistent culture of singing and telling of stories as a way of passing down history.